the number one goal today is just simply to stay on task. Now that we've gotten some diamonds from our tar grind, we are down to four new species diamonds that we don't have in the entire game. Those being Wooly Hare, Tibetan Fox, Munchak, and Snow Leopard. It feels like so often we get bogged down chasing Yak and Blue Sheep and stuff like that, so I really want to focus on those four species today, and we'll see if we can manage to take down any new ones for our trophy launch. And no joke, the first track we pick up is a Maxwood Estimate Nilgai. Like, we have three Diamond Nilgai, but we probably should go and track that. Now, it's 1238 in game. Munchak drink at 1500, and that's probably going to be the first thing we really try to go after when we get to that. So we have the time for it. May well be right in front of us, too. Well, that's a level one. <laughs> so I'm going to go with that is not the one, but maybe we can get that with the 308. And we'll try to figure things out from there. Got some other ones spooking that with the wind like that, I'm not sure it really matters. So we'll get our level one, maybe a Hall of Shame Nil guy, and we'll see if the bigger one's over here somewhere, and I think that track indicates he is. So real quick, Dark Brown for level one Nil guy. he is a silver, oh, just barely a silver as well. Now, bronze is certainly possible for level one male, so we're actually not going to tag this for Hall of Shame, and we will, in the meantime, get back on the track of this guy. I think we're just gonna try to follow him, and maybe push him out of the open, figure out what he is. There's a couple over there. Is that it? That's a different one. Well, that's probably encouraging then. Multiple potential big ones in the area. Ooh, are you serious? A five ball Barasinga. Honestly, the luck of finding this heavy nil guy track, we're probably out of here and through by the time he comes walking down. That is a really cool looking one. So it is their drink time, and that's actually kind of what we were moving this direction for before we hit the nil guy track. Let's make sure we get this shot. Because that is one of the coolest rares on the map. Don't think he'll make gold. I'm not sure if level threes do. And now we still got to try to stay with these tracks. I think it's this set here. And go and recover that guy. So there he is, spooking a woolly hair up there. So I do want to be paying attention to those tracks too, but as of now, we have a little bit too much going on. Look at that. What a cool looking animal. The eyes are really, really good looking. I've been noticing that a lot with the new species. All like really unique eyes on them. That's a silver at 156. Gold's 170, but man, like the piebald pattern on these is just fantastic. Definitely something. You know what? We have that leucistic with the tiger multi-mount. I think we have a replacement because this is higher scoring and way cooler looking. Got the double lung shot with the 308, and what a start to this hunt. We've got a max weight nil guy still to track, and we've already got an awesome rare. Now this might be the best example of staying on task like I talked about that we could have. These tracks just stopped. I can't find the next track from that nil guy. Maybe if we get host later, we'll reset back and see if we can find him again. But I just don't know where he got to. And as opposed to just run around trying to find him for the rest of the hunt, we might as well make the most of Barrasinga drink time. There's only about one in-game hour left of that anyway, and then we can get on the Munchak and hopefully spend some time going after them. And so our little bonus Barrasinga, this one I think will be a gold. 177, so just barely. And hopefully one day we can see the combo of our last two. A rare that makes gold would be insane. But even though that's not exactly what we're here for, we're looking for those four species that we don't have diamonds of, I think it kind of does help to demonstrate why we want to stay on task. Like, if we're in these areas where the species that we're after tend to live, maybe we can have something like that, the piebald Barasinga, instead be a Munchak, Wooly Hare, Snow Leopard, etc. Oh, now that is exactly what we're trying to stay on task. A 240 minimum level 5 Barasinga? 240 is like giant to begin with. 240 on the low end is insane. I wonder, could that potentially be like a max weight? That's a monster. Perfect spot for him to stop. We managed to squeeze that shot in there. That finally is a different rack. All the level fives we've seen have been the same basic frame. Now we've got a much better one. I couldn't tell what fur that was. I think maybe light brown or red, but that thing's giant. Looking like it is indeed the light brown. Look at the size of that, and it's so different. Like, is less total points, I think, than the diamonds we've had before. 
but a really, really massive frame. I want to know what he's going to end up as. 242, he's not even max weight. Basically 243, just an absolute giant. Of all things, we come out here, we're looking for animals that we don't already have diamonds of, and we kill far and away our biggest diamond bear singer to this point. Plus the pie ball. We'll see if we can somehow find anything else, but <laughs> we're getting off to a pretty good start here. And so finally, we are actually on the task. Chasing Munchak, and we've got a really big four here, 33 to 36. I want to say this is one of the first I've ever seen that technically has diamond potential. Now, I don't think I've seen any level four diamond Munchak posted, and I've got no expectation this guy actually is one, but going up to 36, he's got to be pretty solid, so we will be careful here. Go ahead and try to punch that through with the 22-250, and that's going to be a pretty good one to get us going, perhaps even our best so far. So first one of the hunt, up to 36 score, 33.98 is not bad, 35.24 is diamond, so he's basically at 34 score, and I think that would make him our biggest to this point. Actually, not as much penetration out of the 22-250 as I would have expected. That's going to be something to pay attention to as we go, but hopefully it can get it done when we need. And I like what we're seeing here. We've got another level 4 already. This time, not the max weight estimate, but we'll definitely take that. And actually, probably worth kind of messing around with this. I know we've shot some with the 22-250, and that time, it did way better. Because the last thing we need is to finally get a 5, and then end up with the shot not finding the vitals. And of course... We could be shooting tons of these things, they're all over the river, but because we are a multiplayer, we'll be a little bit cognizant of that, and we'll try to only get some of the better ones. So a 32 scoring one here, and we can definitely get double lung. They just look so cool. I really hope we can find a good one sooner rather than later, because every time we go after them, we end up getting distracted by something else, tigers, whatever it is, and then we kill like four. Speaking of four, there's a really big one there too. How the heck did, because there's two fours. I don't know how we didn't see them when we went through a minute ago. Gonna just get him alert. Go to the right gun. I think we should be able to get that. Kinda aiming low that time, because there was zero for 300. That also worked. I think this gun's gonna be a just fine choice. We just have to at least sort of pay attention to angles. So same estimate as before for this guy, and a 34.08. Now he's actually lighter. I think by almost a full kilo? And that shows then that there's at least some difference with the Truax for these guys. There's not a lot that goes into it, but it does seem like there's very little variation. And when they max it like 36, 37, somewhere in there, naturally there can't be that much. But it's cool to see like, in theory, maybe a really big four could make time. And there's even another solid mud jack, 32 to 35. But we're gonna have to make this quick because a really nice mythical water buffalo is after us. And I think he may run us over if we take too long. So drop that. I actually only brought the 300 AR because of tigers. Sometimes, and of course he's actually going to flee now. Sometimes with tigers, you just need that fast follow-up. A little quicker than what the bolt action can offer. So I went back to the AR. And it may be useful here. I'm kind of hoping he's eventually going to go to a trot. There we go. Is he going to maybe turn just a little bit though? Not much. We may have to just go and track him down because he's big enough. I think we should. And inevitably, we just have chaos going on. And it's actually 1725 now. I want to get after Tibetan Fox here. They drink from 17 to 20 hundred hours. So the sooner the better. We start to check their lakes. Hopefully we can find them. But I'm really up to 178. I really want to get that water buffalo. But this has definitely been our best munchak log. This guy's a 32.82. So of the max weight estimates, the smallest one? And really, when the smallest one's nearly 33 score, we're not doing too bad. So, let's go see if we can figure out where that buffalo got to. Hopefully not going to be a too long track, because like I said, the more daylight time we can spend looking for fox, the better. It's so easy, small animals like that in the dark, to just not see them. Finally found them. Everything came running back down this way for some reason. Not sure if maybe that's just the way things pad through, but we do have another one chasing us. If we can just something in there one of those surely is gonna be a vital I think I saw vital blood then oh jeez. try to deal with these guys 
maybe we can get out of this, maybe without dying, and go and see what that guy is and get on the fox. Just gonna try to get rid of these things? At this point, I don't care what the metals are on these ones. How is he still going? Didn't we vital shot him a while ago? Yeah, the first shot was right lung. I don't know. Anyway, the important part is, our mythical the first time we did indeed get a vital. And then finally, our mythical water buffalo is a 162 score in gold, so not bad. Almost hard shot on that first time, really close in fact. Second shot, just a bit too far forward. So we will take that and we'll be on our way to some fox locations. And at the very first lake, we've got a Max Wesmit Tibetan Fox track. Now, I don't think he was drinking here. Normally, when they flee from here, they run like right around this edge. And I know I saw one there. There we go. That's a level three female. And I think we'll probably just let that go and get on the tracks. Hopefully, it won't be like the no guy from earlier. And maybe we can even find it. So it looks like he's kind of just heading off this direction. I don't know where he drinks then, but maybe they'll turn or something. Sure seems like he's heading, like, way up there or something. I think I just saw him. Oh, he's a level 7, unfortunately. So nothing super special. We'll try to use the right caliber just because he's kind of in the open there. Need a, just a little window. That actually looked awesome. He just went, like, flying down the hill. I still find it interesting he wasn't in a drink zone at this time of day. And we might be hunting a little bit at night. Now, that could make for multiple interesting things. One, we're in still leopard territory, and this kind of allows us to hunt all the things that we've been after. Wooly hair are everywhere. We went after Muttjack, and now up here looking for Tibetan Fox, we have that chance of tumbling into snow leopards too. But once it gets dark, if those yaks start chasing us, that could be really interesting. Oh, no way. Level 9 Tibetan Fox. Of course he's going to be 5 to 6 estimate. I don't think you can get a different estimate. He looks weird. What fur is that? It might just be the gray fur. I can't quite tell. There's a smoke variant that I don't know if I can identify it, especially not at night, but that is insane. There's so much ground out there. I'm really hoping he maybe just goes nervous. There's no shot. We're trying to hit him on the trot right now. That is a really cool thing to see. And I'm just hoping he's maybe going to give us some opportunity and not have us track him. Just went nervous. All right, I think we're actually going to alert him then with a 22. At this range, we should shoot into the air, I think. 0, 4, 150. As soon as he stops. Looks like that got him. He's not even getting back up. He kind of went down slow health-wise. But we might have one of those short-list trophies that we haven't yet found on Sooner Baton. I really hope that's what I think it is. And man, I still don't know what the fur is. But it looked pretty cool. So maybe we'll be able to tell up close. It's kind of weird he died in that rock. I think that's just the gray variant, but more importantly, what is he going to score? That is a diamond. That's a big one too. 6.73. I think 6.8 is max. What a stud of a gray fox. That's not a gray fox, a gray Tibetan fox even. They score the same as gray fox. I don't know if that's why that's on my mind, but 6.8 is max for both even though these guys only max at six kilo flat. I'm so glad it's the gray variant. They look really, really good. Got top of the left lung. If it wasn't going to be the smoke variant, which I really do like the look of, this is the one I'd prefer. And we've just had a crazy hunt here, finally staying on task, actually working. And we still got those yaks around us. Tell you what, they look kind of weird at night. I don't know if having the light on is causing that. A little bit. It's making the fur look really odd, so we might just go ahead and take out this 7 since he's here. And at this point, I'll probably ask everyone on the server if they want the time changed. And we might as well continue in the daylight, maybe chasing snow leopards a little bit. That's the one thing that we haven't actually shot today. And considering we got our fox, there's not much point staying this time of day. So we've got our bonus yak, 246 scoring gold for him. And I think we'll go ahead and change the morning. And we've got our first snow leopard just sneaking through the trees down there. I wonder. Blind shot, but can we get that level six? Because probably the ideal thing, especially looking for just trophy snow leopards, would be, and I think we got him, to just 
take down ones that we know are common and not very big as quickly as we can. So I did get his Disturb Edge before I knew he was Snow Variant. And of course him being level 6 rules it out from being any sort of a decent size. But I wonder, did we drop him? Did he go anywhere? Because I'm just, based on the fact that the hunting pressure was up that fast, it had to bring him down pretty quickly. And he is laying literally right where we shot. So locked out, something like this big rock or any of these trees didn't stop the shot. But I'd say in that situation, worth getting the shot off so we can continue looking for more tracks. Got him, I don't know how we did that, vertebrae, stomach, liver, and left lung? We'll take a little bonus gold snow leopard with a blind shot though. So I'm pretty sure one of these two nil guy would be the one that we were tracking earlier. Both are like the exact same estimate, same fur type, same everything, level four. So we'll maybe try to get both if we can. I think that's gonna be a good enough hit on that one. And if he slows to a trot, there's those like little pauses, but I don't think we're hitting that. We'll at least try to get this one too. Both technically have a chance, but I really don't like our odds of getting them without having more of a slow moving opportunity. Did we get that into a vital? Can hit him one more time just in case, because I don't think we did. And yeah, we might have saved it, we'll see. So the first one we had no problems with, and really, I wish I was able to know which was which, because there's nothing to make the determination. That guy's a 90.64, 267 kilo, just a decent sized one. We actually got lung and vertebrae. And hopefully, we somehow got a vital on the other one, because I really don't know what happened on the first shot. But he started to go down quick after the second one. If I've seen it correctly, it was actually two non-vital hits. So hopefully this isn't some kind of diamond level four, because that would be unfortunate. He is a 90.97. They were almost exactly the same size. And I'm really glad then that we did indeed stay on task because it got us not only the piebald bear thing as we were tracking one of those, the massive diamond one, and then we were able to go around and end up getting a diamond Tibetan fox in the process and we still were able to find the Nilgai by the end. So we're going to take our new trophies back to the trophy lodge and we'll try to figure out some spots for them. And I've decided to just kind of continue with the second Trophy Lodge stuff for now. Until we really spend time like sorting everything through, I think that's going to be for the best. But I love the looks of this. We've got our Diamond Tibetan Fox with that really nice gray fur. Just looking straight across at the mellow that we got. And then I went ahead and switched up the multi mounts. This is our new 242.9 Diamond Bear Single being taken down by the Diamond Tiger. By the way, I put the old one on the wall. They just look so good. Like, when we redo everything, I definitely want all of our Diamond Bear Singa that are on the wall in the main lodge, because they really, really fill that space. And then finally, our Piebald Bear Singa being carried off by our larger scoring Diamond Tiger. I just think that looks so, so good. I love the look of the Piebald Bear Singa. I just think it suits that mount so much better. So, a really successful hunt. Finally staying on task, finally going after some of those things that we didn't have. And we're now down to three species, not only on Suda Baton, but in the entire game that we don't have diamonds of. And hopefully we can continue chipping away at that as well. So on that note, that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.